Did you like my ex-boyfriend better or him? What's crack and Jaybirds? Welcome back to the YouTube channel of Pure Awesomeness and Glory. My name is Jack Bremen and this is... I'm JC. And this is... JC's mom. JC's yes. mom. Boom! Yes! Get some energy! Let's get those likes up! Comment something obnoxious down below. Preferably something really offensive so I can get my feelings hurt. Welcome back. Today, JC... Do I have to do all the talking? Are y'all gonna be too okay. busy eating the whole time? I guess we're doing a little mukbang. No. <laughs> This, I don't know, I've never really actually sat down. Guys, this is gonna sound so crazy, but I've never really had a fetish for watching people eat food. So I've never really done that. So I don't know what a mukbang is per se. I don't know what it is. Really? A mukbang? What is it? Do you know what it You've is? You've watched a mukbang? I, I did. I always thought it was times, a weird... But I have no idea what it means. I think it's just f whenever you eat food and you answer questions. So that's what exactly what we're doing I, I right now. I thought it was actually. trying different kind of foods. Mukbang. The first time I ever heard the term mukbang, I thought it was something really dirty. Anyway guys, we have a whole bowl of mussels here. Yes. This is the food that my mom makes Jack and I probably, what, three times a week? Yes. And how many boxes do you make? Usually five. She makes five Go boxes. I'm a growing boy. She makes five boxes of mussels and we eat the whole entire thing. Guys, I wasn't born to mess around. If I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat. Okay, that, do I gotta justify my actions here? So, uh, phones at the table. My mom's googling what mukbang means. Make sure you spell it right because you really might get I some do. disgusting I stuff. Do. I lost it. Darn it. It's a live online audio visual broadcast in which a host eats large amounts of food while interacting with their audience. Ah. So it's just eating so it's food and doing of, something. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, bada bing, bada boom, so ladies and gentlemen. So we're doing a mukbang with my mom with muscles and we're just gonna be asking her some um, questions. First question. What were your first impressions of Jack? Oh! Oh, the truth will be revealed. Funny. See you guys. Funny. I still else got obnoxious, it. Obnoxious, annoying. Excuse moi. Excuse Do moi. Funny. Do she <laughs> explain? Not funny, funny and mature. Funny and mature? Yeah, mature. Very, very, okay, very, keep in mind, they don't see my mature side very often. Yeah, there you go. Mature. So they're not going to understand that whatsoever. They're going to be like, Wait, um, I want you to go into more detail. Why mature? What, what part about him made him seem mature? This is JC's attempt at clarifying that I'm not like a moron 24-7. It's, it's, it's more a conversation between you and my mom. Mm -hmm. When you were growing up and, you know, and... and <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> Basically, it's from the conversations that we have between and me his... and your mom. Mm. Oh, while I we forget. Were, while we were, you know, with, with JC and Olivia growing up together yes. and, and keeping an eye on the girls and, and you were in the background with your friends and everything. Yeah, so. that's, well, that's one thing to keep in mind. True. She's seen me grow up. It wasn't like I was just like, was crack a lacking, guys. Uh, I nice always dinner. forget she knew about you before mm -hmm. I started dating you, mm -hmm. and probably mm -hmm. a lot more about you than I thought she would know. That could be good. That could be bad. Who knows? You know. Interesting. Okay, that's a pretty solid answer. So, uh, funny and mature. Yeah. That's the kind side. All right, but we'll get to the negatives. Don't worry, guys. Is there anything about Jack that you hate? Ooh, the truth will be revealed. Be honest. I want you to be completely honest. A lot of toilet humor. Um, that's what my dad said. Sometimes, always, sometimes it's too much. What am I? A, what a, little, a little bit is probably okay, but mm -hmm. sometimes it gets to be a little too toilet much. Toilet humor. And then it, it, humor. it becomes a little bit of a, you know what I mean? It's so basically mean. he just talks about shit too much? Yeah. <laughs> Well, because that's a common conversation we have with your dad all the time. No, that's what I'm saying. I realized that. So I've sort of cut back because it, when I really thought about it, they're right. I was like, wait a minute. Why did this become such a part of my lingo? Okay, <laughs> this isn't right. And the sad thing is, it rubbed off on me. Yeah. Because I talk about a lot now too, mm -hmm. which is sad. Look, here's the thing, guys. I have this philosophy that if you just like throw yourself out there, like your most disgusting parts or traits, no one can hurt you. So one of my biggest, most disgusting traits is my, um, you know, what I do to the bathroom when no one's around. Wait. So I talk about it. What does your husband, aka JC's father, think of me, also known as Jack the Handsome? Be totally honest. Um. Oh God, what? That wasn't a good way to start that. that, that, that I don't even 
know what he thinks about I don't Jack. approve of the pause. He hasn't really talked to me about you before ever. But think, That's not yeah, good. I don't think he expressed an opinion at all. Really? I've tried so hard. <laughs> I don't know if that's a really. good thing or a bad thing. That's a good thing. It's better. Like I, I think it's just somebody it's that neutral. wanna. Yeah, I think it's just somebody that wanna just uh, just kind of what do you call keep an eye on things a little bit. You know, doesn't yeah. really make an opinion and kind of. He's an observer. Yeah. Just sort of okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's like he gets mm -hmm. greasier and greasier every time he comes <laughs> over. And I'm I mean, starting to you get just doesn't come in yet crying or anything like that. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Uh huh. So that's a good thing. Have I ever done that? I've never done that before though. You've done that with your ex. What did JC do to be in the most trouble growing up? What was the moment where she was just, oh my gosh, she out of line and you had to let her know who's there's, boss. There's, there's so many instances. I don't know which one to pick. Give me the, the worst. Give me the worst. Just the one, one, that, one that comes to mind. One that you, you remember, remember the most. Sneaking out probably. Boom! Never caught me sneaking out. Oh, I have a story to tell. Do you guys ever watch any uh, of those movies where FBI, you know, police investigation, that kind of stuff? Spy yeah. Kids? Yeah, kind of like that. I see. Yeah, it. like, anyway, like crime documentaries and yeah. stuff? Yes, mm. all the time. You know, downstairs the bedroom? Yeah. Yes. I usually would know the day bef afterwards if, if you guys sneak out or not. You know, how would I know? <laughs> how would you know? I put a hair on the window. <gasps> Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do wait you know minute. that trick? You put a hair on the window. This is the first time I've ever heard of this. You don't That's know that nice. trick? No, I don't know that trick. Oh my gosh, you guys are, you, you don't watch the good Excuse me. I watched Spy Kids, they never did that. They were too busy okay. fighting off thumb men. You put a hair uh -huh. on the window or the door. Uh huh. And then that's how would you know? If somebody opens the door, the window, then the hair falls out. Yes. So you know that somebody came out of it. It's that like Death door. Note when he puts the pencil lead in the. Duh. Ah. So you knew every time I snuck out. But she kept it cool. You never got me in trouble for it ever. You never said anything about it. That's a cool mom. If there's any moms watching. Come on. If this puts your mind at ease, we never went and did anything crazy. We just like would go and get food and not wake okay. you guys up. That's what I'd say if the camera was rolling and I was caught, but. <laughs> <laughs> that is so smart. Props to you. See, people have this bad habit of assuming that your parents are just so out of the loop and stupid. They're not. They're really not. My parents just never get, like made an effort to Remember, try to catch baby, me. When you were. Freshman to sophomore, I used to spy on your cell phone. Yes, that was so annoying. You guys, I did that for two years. They would. I don't blame you. If I had a kid oh, and she was as no, crazy as her, they would no. get my text messages. So my the text I would get from my friends would also go to my parents' iPad. Yeah. Comment down below if your parents do that because a lot of people uh, do that. I remember my buddy did it. His parents did it and still do it. It is they just don't care what go. They don't check it anymore, but they still get the text. So one of these days I'm gonna die and someone better go over to his mom's iPad and clear the search history or whatever because I do not want some of that group chat I messages hated it. in there. I hated it. I felt. I felt like I was being invaded. My privacy was being invaded. Well, technically it is. Okay, I care. you never answered the question. What have I done that got me in the most trouble? Just think of one instance. Answering back, probably. Oh, talking back, like, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. I had an attitude growing up. Yeah, JC still got an attitude, and it comes out sometimes. <laughs> if, I, if I haven't fed her, like if she hasn't eaten in the last like five minutes, ooh! It's bad. I get hangry. I it's get not good, really guys. Angry. I get really hangry. But the problem here is it just escalates because I cannot take her seriously when she's mad. She becomes like a squeaky. You know in the movies where there's like a little white dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you're, it's still cute. That's JC. <laughs> you're and a chihuahua, baby. I'm a chihuahua? Yeah. No one ever called me that ever again. I I'm hate sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean it. Please. I got bit by chihuahua. You got bit? Why is ever? We just talked about this in our my vlog friend, the other day. My friend got bit. On my chihuahua. leg. Just, you know, it, it's so small. Mm -hmm. So they can just, you know, just. Just grab a little bit of like right. Did in you your like cup. kick it off? Did you drop kick it as soon as it? I bit just you? stomped I it out. I remember, but I had a little, a little tiny bite uh, mark uh, went through my. Did my you have pants. to amp no ampu no amputation no nothing like that no. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you survived that because JC's friend that got bit by a chihuahua. We she talked had... about this on the vlog channel. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to the vlog channel yet. You're missing out, link in description. But we talked about it and her friend got her lip like torn open, multiple stitches by a chihuahua. How pathetic, embarrassing. Was she trying to kiss, was she trying to kiss I don't chihuahua? know what she was Maybe doing. Maybe she was trying to eat it, it I don't know. 
Well, I don't have any <clears> more <throat> questions. So unless you have, a, do you have any more questions? Because mm. if people are watching it to this point, they're clearly liking something, and it's not me. So mm. it's up to you guys. Nothing. Did you like my ex-boyfriend better or him? That's a very touchy personal question. It is a very touchy personal, <laughs> and I can't be honest. She's being well, nice. no, no. Well, you know what? Um, you you guys are two different people. Yeah, it's not really. We're fair. not very. We're not very similar. That's very true. It's yeah. not really fair. It's like comparing apple to an orange. Yeah. And there we don't do that over here in the Kabasi house. Yeah, we only have oranges. Yes, we only have oranges, and that's my favorite fruit. So I think she's referring to me, or at least I hope she is. I can't think of any more questions. Anyways, what? Jaybirds, sure? thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Make sure you leave a like on this video. If you made it this far, we really appreciate it. Leave a like. You guys know this channel is suppressed, so leaving a like helps uh, remedy that. Check out the vlog channel linked down below. If you want to see another video like this, leave a like. Comment down below whether or not we should do light gray or blue merch. And remember, take it one, one day, day at a time. time.